we have Megan Scanlon, reigning world champion and now national back-to-back -back national champion in the 63 kilo class. Um, Meg, to start off with, do you want to just give us a little summary of your day and how it went? <laughs> um, sure. My day was interesting. Um, it definitely didn't go as I planned, but it was the day I needed and deadlift saved me. So that's a summary. <laughs> They saved me again. Yeah, uh, it's really coming in clutch now. It really is. All right. And uh, Matt Gary? Yeah, first of all, uh, Meg, congratulations. Thank on, you. On winning another national championship. That's exciting. Um, did you envision that it was going to take all nine attempts today to hit that magic Carpedo number? And, and, and what do you think kind of happened on some of the other attempts? Yeah, I didn't. I was thinking I would be able to hit it on my second deadlift, like if according to plan. Um, but when I started squatting, I had a feeling it was going to take all nine attempts. Um, I just didn't feel like as strong. You know what I mean? Like didn't feel like a strong day. So kind of after my first squat attempt, I probably had a good idea it was going to take nine. This is Bryce from CNN. Um, <laughs> I'm wondering what your body weight was like leading into the prep and if you felt like that was a factor. Sure. So I stay pretty close to 63, but I tend to like drop weight unintentionally when I get close to meat. So it's something I'm trying to get closer to 63 on weigh-ins. Um, better than world, still not great. Um, so that's kind of like my goal going forward is to get closer and closer to 63. This is Natalie from ESPN. <laughs> I noticed that you had the, you put in the American record on your third squat attempt mm. after a pretty tough 190. Did you have any intention of coming out for 191.5? Were you kind of thinking about it in the back and um, so after I took my 190, I knew I wasn't going to come up for my third, um, but my husband put it in, um, knowing that like a chip would help, but I was yeah. like, no, I, it, it, one and a half kilos isn't worth what I'm going to have to do. I've done it before, so I know what it's like, and I just knew it wasn't going to be worth it. Um, I know going into this, obviously the bench rules change. Um, how, how much did that affect your bench in this prep and what you ended up taking? So, I mean, my bench has changed significantly. I know if someone's never seen me bench before, they probably still think I have a huge arch. Um, but I've changed, like, how much I arch, where I'm putting my feet, my grip width, and, like, my actual grip on the bar. And then I flare my elbows a lot. So there's been a lot of factors that I've changed. I'm definitely still getting used to it. Um, it wasn't a great bench day either, similar to squats in comparison to my meat prep. Mm -hmm. So you now get a ticket to the World Championship and you get to watch the Sheffield with a little bit more ease and comfort. Are you going to be watching, are you going to be watching some of your potential competitors and seeing their performances, or do you mainly just focus on yourself? I'll definitely watch Sheffield. I mean, I like watching the big meets. Um, as we get closer, like, I definitely don't pay attention on Instagram, but I like watching the big meets. All right, so Meg, you're known as being a huge bencher, and that's kind of your big weapon, but lately it's like your squat and your deadlift are really coming around. What's been happening, and how confident are you you know, in your squat and your deadlift progression coming into Worlds? I feel very confident about them. Um, I've, I used to have a big squat, and now it's coming back. Um, I've always kind of had a big bench, um, but it's really my deadlift, my getting back to where my squat was and my deadlift progression, I think that's allowed me to be a lot more competitive. The past year and one follow-up to that is just like how has it been working with Kelly Man? I mean amazing <laughs> um, I've made a lot of progress and I know that we still have a lot of progress to make so it's exciting after a big competition like this do you jump right back into training or are you taking a little time off you know how are you thinking about the transition from here to the world championship mm. um, I usually don't take that much time off just because I like training. <laughs> um, but I'll ease back into it and then get back into a training block. All right. All right. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, congrats. Yeah. Thanks, guys.